Hello friends, welcome to today's session. In my previous part 1 of this topic of share of profit or loss of disease partner, we discussed about the various bases that could be used for determining the share of profit or loss of a disease partner. That is way they could prepare the final accounts by closing books of accounts or they could use the estimation basis. But now in the second part of this session, I am going to be discussing with you about how to record the entries in respect of share of profit or loss or disease partner when the profit sharing ratio of the continuing partners or the remaining partners does not change or undergoes a change. So as we have seen the date of death of partner is totally uncertain and that is why this particular thing of calculating the share of profit of the disease partner for the period for which he was alive, that is from beginning of the year till the date of death comes into existence. And then thereafter, what we saw was that how we record. If final accounts were prepared, how we dealt with the journal entries and if they use the estimated estimation basis, how we pass a journal entry. Now, now when that particular partner has died, the remaining partners, also we call them as continuing partners. Now these partners can decide two things. The two things that they can decide are first that they will continue to share the profit sharing ratio would be the same or they may decide that they would change their profit sharing ratio amongst themselves. Like for example you take the partners were A, B and C. If they were sharing equally. So this was their old profit sharing ratio. If they say that a particular partner died and the remaining partners continued or they say that they continued with the same ratio, then under such circumstance there is a particular way of passing the entry. That is the same way as we had learned in the part 1. What we do is find out the share of profit of the disease partner we debit the profit and loss suspense account and credit the diseased partner's capital account. That would be simple. But when there is a change in profit sharing ratio, that is if A died, B and C are going to continue. They are going to continue but they are not going to share in the same ratio as old. Suppose it is said they will continue by sharing profit ratio 2 is to 1 or 3 is to 2. So they have decided that as they continue, the profit sharing ratio among themselves is going to undergo a change. Then under such circumstance, the way in which we record would be different. The accounting entry that would be passed would be totally different. Now, when there is a change in the profit sharing ratio amongst the continuing partner, how would we account for it? Simple thing is that you can either pass two journal entries or one single entry for that. First, I will discuss about how you pass two entries. First thing that you do is you find out the profit share or share of loss of that disease partner and we pass the normal entry of debiting the profit and loss suspense account and crediting diseased partners capital account with the profit share. So this is for the profit share of disease partner being transferred to the disease partner. But if it was a share of loss, so this was for what? Profit share of disease partner. But you would reverse the entry if it was a share of loss. So disease partner's capital account debit to profit and loss suspense account would be the entry passed. Thereafter what you are supposed to do is one more entry would be passed. That entry would be where you would be debiting the gaining partner's capital account because as this particular disease partner has left the business other partners are going to gain the profit share of the disease partner share in some ratio. So by finding out what we are going to do is we will prepare a working note 
to find out the gaining ratio. That would be the new profit share minus old profit share elimination. So with this we will know how much is gained by the containing partners. Using that we pass as entry of debiting the gaining partners and we would credit the profit and loss suspense account. This amount of profit share which has been given and if it was a loss reverse entry is going to be passed. Whatever is entry that is said, reverse of that would be passed. Or alternatively, what you can do is you can pass one single entry where you debit the gaining partner's capital account in their gaining ratio and credit the diseased partner's capital account with his share of profit. So this is for share of profit. But if it is a loss, then pass reverse entry. So this is how when the continuing partners decide to continue the business but with a new profit sharing ratio, they don't want to share the same ratio as they were sharing before, then we pass this particular entry. So to understand this concept, to make it more clear for you, let us do it with an example with numbers. So let us take this example of Ajay, Vijay, Sanjay. They were partners. Vijay died on 28th February 2021. His share of profit was calculated on the basis of the average of three completed years of profits before death. So last three year, completed years, whatever was the profit, average of that would be taken and that would be assumed as the profit of the current year. So we are making estimation here. We are not closing the books. Then they have given the profits for the three years ended 2018, 19 and 2020 as 160,000, 180,000 and 290,000. Now there is a calculate which is share of profit till the date of death and past journal entry when profit sharing ratio of continuing partners does not change. And the second case is when the profit sharing ratio of continuing partners changes. And the new ratio is 3 to 2. So now Vijay is a partner who has died. He died when? On 28th of February. So he was alive from when to when? From 1st April of 2020 to 28th of February 2021. He was alive for 11 months. What is Vijay's share of profit? Share of profit of the disease partner Vijay in this case, if you see, no profit sharing ratio has been given. So what to do? Simple. It is taken as equally. So these three partners are equal partners. So one third is a profit share of the disease partner, which by using this, let us calculate what is the profit for the current year on estimation basis. So we will find out the average profits of last three years. So that would be 1,60,000 plus 1,80,000 plus 2 lakhs divided by 3. So the total of this comes to 5,40,000 divided by 3. So that would come to 1,80,000 rupees. So this is the average profit and this would be taken as a basis to calculate the profit share of Vijay for the current year. So, what would be the share of profit of Vijay? We will use that formula where we take this estimated profit but this is for one whole year, 12 months period. But he was alive only for 11 months. So, we apply that time period, proportionate 11 by 12 and we multiply it by Vijay's share. So, calculate 6 2s are 6, 3s are, this is 15, this is 5. So, you have 55,000 as the share of profit of Vijay. Now, once we know this, we are going to pass the entries. The first case is where the profit share ratio of continuing partner does not change. So, when the profit sharing ratio of 
continuing partners does not change. So for this case, what do we do? Simple. We would debit the profit and loss suspends account debit and credit the disease partner which is capital account with his share of profit of 55,000. It's as simple as that. But suppose you take the profit sharing ratio of containing partners undergo a change changes. So look at that. The second case I have said new ratio is 3 is to 2. So first thing we have already determined. We don't have to do the calculation. We know the profit share of Vijay 55,000. Important thing that we are going to do is we are going to find out the gaining ratio. The gaining ratio is new profit share minus old profit share. So when the new profit share is more than the old, it means that particular partner has gained. So who are the two partners who are containing Ajay and Sanjay? So Ajay and Sanjay. Now what was the new profit sharing ratio? It was supposed to be 3 is to 2. So they are going to be sharing 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. What was the old ratio? They were equal partners. So 1 by 3 and 1 by 3. Let us calculate LCM of 15, 5 threes are 9, 3 fives are 1 by 5, 4 by 15 and again LCM 15, 5 threes are 6, 3 fives are 5, 1 by 15. So you get the gaining ratio of 4 is to 1. So now with this detail in hand, we will pass a journal entry. This journal entry is very simple. First thing that we do is we would be giving that particular share. So profit and loss, suspense, account debit to the disease partner which is capital account. The amount of 55,000. So this is share of profit transferred to capital account. But as the profit sharing ratio among the continuing partners undergone a change, we need to pass one more entry. In that entry, what are we going to do? We are going to debit the gaining partners. That is Ajay and Sanjay. So Ajay's capital account debit, Sanjay's capital account debit to Profit and loss, suspense account. So, profit share of which adjusted in gaining ratio. So, what was the gaining ratio? The amount of 55,000 is going to be split in 4 is to 1. So, it is going to be 4 by 5 and 1 by 5. That is 11,000 and it is going to be 44,000 for Ajay and Vijay. Or alternatively, you can pass a single entry. You see that the profit and loss suspense account here is being closed out with a credit here. So, instead of that, what do we do? We debit the gaining partner, Ajay's capital account debit. 44,000 Sanjay's capital account debit 11,002 Vijay's capital account by crediting him we are giving his profit share of 55,000 which we are debiting it out from Ajay. So here the profit share of Vijay is credited to the capital account by debiting the gaining partners in the gaining ratio. That would be your narration. So whenever there is a change in the profit sharing ratio of the continuing partner, they are not going in for the same ratio as before. They want a new ratio. Then either you pass this two entries 
or you can pass one single entry of debiting the gaining partner and crediting the deceased partner's capital account. So for that purpose, all you have to do is additional calculation of gaining the ratio. So this is how the accounting treatment changes when the continuing partners decide when they don't want to change the profit sharing ratio and continue the same ratio or when they decide to adopt a new profit sharing ratio. So I hope this concept of passing this journal entry under two situation is very clear to you now. So thank you for joining me today. I hope this session was useful to you. If you like this session, please do like and share it. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and refer the channel to your friends. So thank you. Have a great day.